Happy Saturday, everyone. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. I am excited because we have an insane product to open. This, the Ultra Premium Collection Box. Let's go! And we got some legends in the chat already. So CP Cool Trading Card Games and stuff. King of the First saying First Cool. Fern P dropping the flames. Valor Fennekin saying see everyone to later on today. Pokey Bronx saying 718 NYC. Saturday turn up. Oh yeah, bless his family. Let's go. Bless his Pokey Bronx. We got Star Wars hockey fan says he needs some albino time. Working overtime today, getting those awesome Christmas gifts and debt paid off. Let's go, Star Wars hockey fan putting in the work. And hey, did I hear he's got a playoff game later on tonight? So hopefully you can score a goal or maybe a hat trick. The often spoken about, rarely seen. What if that would happen? But good luck to you, buddy. I hope you win. May the force be with you. Speaking of the force, we got Jedi Master Squirtle saying word up. We got Susan saying yay and dropping the fire. And Susan just, Susan, the incredible, amazing, absolutely legendary Susan just called me to say that she picked up two ETBs of Fusion Strike for me from Barnes & Noble. So also, shout out to the cashier at Barnes & Noble, Michael, who's a fan of the channel. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate the kind words that you told to Susan. Thank you so much, and I hope you're having a blessed day. We got Savin Brass in the chat, the Iron Duck. Let's go. Glad to see you, Savin Brass. Ruse Pokemon says, I got to say, this product is off the chain. Yes, Ruse Pokemon might, might know a thing or two about that because he's opened up one, and it was absolutely insane. So I'm hoping that we can match the insanity that his box brought and also score some awesome hits today. Pokey Ferns Vin dropping the flames in chat. What is up? Pink Lady dropping the dancing emojis and the waving. Hello, Pink Lady. How are you doing today? Super Violins, Master of the Dragon Boys, waving hello, hello. How you doing, Violins? Hopefully uh, no more exam grading or, and hopefully you're having an awesome weekend. Valor Fennekin saying legends in the chat. Absolutely, and you are one of them. Valor Fennekin, Alice Isles dropping the hearts in the chat in the fire. Let's go, Alice. Great to see you. Trow69 saying Pat Mr. PowerPoint himself was giggly. Yo, Trow, what is up, my guy? I am just pumped because we've got an insane product to open up today. Rena Carter saying hello, everyone. Hello, Rena Carter, the very talented artist herself. Time for an autograph tour now. Whoa, says Jedi Master Squirtle. Speaking of autographs, I've been looking at the UFC Chronicle boxes. I've been thinking about picking up a hobby box. Every single hobby box contains random two signatures. Out of all the signatures, there's hundreds of different fighters that they have signatures for. There's only one type and one signature for Nate Diaz. And I don't think anyone in the world has pulled the Flux Auto signature yet of Nate Diaz. But that would be insane. I definitely want to see that card when it gets pulled. Jedi Master Squirrel says, I still want to find one, Ruse. Well, maybe Barnes & Noble, because I also got to say the legend of Wild Bill strikes again. Not only did Wild Bill pull insane cards last night from an Evolving Skies boosting box. He got Metacham, Alt Art. He got Gold, Intellium. He got uh, Full Art, Raihan. Insane, insane pulls. But then the guy casually drops at like 1 a.m. Oh, how much are those Ultra Premium Collection boxes? Oh, you're opening up one tomorrow? You paid $375 for it? Oh, yeah. I went to Barnes & Noble and I found two for $120 each. So check your Barnes & Nobles. Check your Barnes & Nobles because it looks like we can confirm that the Ultra Premium Collection boxes, there is another wave of these. I thought they were going to be a one-and-done product, but... It turns out they're, they're printing more of them and they're being sold at big retailers for MSRP. So maybe um, if you don't want to go drive over there, maybe just give them a call first and say, hey, do you have any of those big Pokemon boxes? Because at the very least, they might have Fusion Strike for MSRP like Susan found today. Yo, what is up, Callus? as well? The Gene made the Bidoof King. I am doing great, Callus. How are you doing? All the way from Portugal, he's tuning in. And we got Thomas Jefferson, one of the founding fathers. What is up, TJ? It's been too long. Had to come for the UPC. That is awesome. That is awesome, Thomas Jefferson. Well, I'm glad that you could come through, and I hope we can deliver some insane hits. 
There are just two celebration cards that we need left to complete the master set, the Mu EX and the Luxray Level X. Can we pull those two cards today? And maybe some extra heat as well. I'll say up front right now, if we pull a Charizard, I will add that, I will, I will give it away. I think we will do it as the 500 subscriber milestone if we pull a Charizard from the Celebrations UPC. And yo, speaking of legends, we got Dracorius in the chat. Not only that, but he is noticing, did you get a haircut or is it just comb? Thank you for noticing, Dracorius. That's actually why I'm starting off a little bit late today. Yes, I literally just got a haircut and I'm just coming back for it. Thank you, Dracorius. For noticing that, I appreciate it. And yo, thank you as well for nominating me for the uh, the Pokey Gamble community giveaway. I would absolutely love to participate and add some cards to the giveaway. Thank you, thank you so much for letting me know about it and nominating me, Dracorius. That would be awesome. So let me know if you want me to connect with you over um, email or Instagram, but I'd love to DM you. Ooh, Valor Fennekin says, let's raid old time after. That would be awesome. What time does old time go live? I am sorry, I did not know that he was going live today, but that is awesome. Definitely, definitely, we gotta send the love over to old time as well. Pokey Legacy is saying, bro, yo, Pokey Legacy, what is up? Awesome, man, looks good, brother. Thank you, Dracorius, I appreciate the kind words. So we are gonna open up the UPC. This is the first reveal. I don't know which way I'm supposed to open it. Let's try this way. I see train on here. So I think this is the way that we'll open it up. And it looks like the, is this mag? This is a magnet sealed. Yo, this box is awesome. This product is insane. So even the packaging is absolutely off the chain. We got magnets to keep it sealed. That is so nice. And look at the look inside. This looks so beautiful. I love all the different starters that they have here as a pattern. Train on the Pikachu tail. Absolutely legendary product. This is totally befitting the name Ultra Premium Collection. And Andre Sparse Kurikazi is in the chat as well. What is up, Andre Sparse Kurikazi? How are you doing today, my man? Glad to see you. So first, we gotta show off these. These are the big absolute bangers. First, the Charizard in the Pikachu pin. Look at this awesome accessory. They could have just had a Charizard pin and I would have been sold. $375, take my money. But, no, I'm just kidding. But it's awesome that they included a Pikachu on top as well. How, what a cool accessory this is. A Charizard, a Pikachu riding a Charizard. This is so super cool. And it's a pretty high quality pin too. Honestly, it's one of the better pins that I've seen in my entire life. I used to collect pins as well for like sports teams, for a hockey sports team. So super cool to get this Charizard and Pikachu one. I gotta find a really cool thing to uh, pin it to. And now, here is what I'm sure most people want to see. This is where you're getting a lot of the value from the box. The legendary gold medal cards. So we have Pikachu in the original Mitsuhiro Arita artwork. Look at this card. This is incredible. This is even better than I would thought it would be in person. I've tried to avoid, I feel like the only two people I've seen open up one so far is Pokeballer Mike and Ruse Pokemon. And wow, this looks even better. I'm trying, oh man, this looks incredible. And you know what? I like the centering. At least the front looks really clean. I don't know if I want to, man, should I take it? I'm worried about taking it out of the packaging. Yo, Brocase and the Pokey Twins. Anthony is in the chat saying good afternoon. What is up, another legend? Anthony, how are you doing, my guy? Yo, I am so excited to open up your mail this Tuesday. Honestly, I woke up this morning. I'm not even making this up. The first thing I did when I woke up this morning was I went over it and I just admired the package because it's so nice. Oh my gosh. You did such a good job packaging it up. I am so excited for that one, Anthony. Super, super pumped. So thank you so much for sending it. We got the Pikachu. I'm still geeking out about this Pikachu. And we got to check the back. Yo, the back looks really clean. The I've seen a lot of these with a damaged back. This looks like one of the cleanest ones that I've seen opened up yet. Wow, this looks really clean. I am really excited about this. Dude, I, uh, oh my gosh. I, dude and dudettes. I should say, wow, I was not expecting this. I thought that this card was gonna be really damaged or some wear and tear on it. Wow, it looks really pristine. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. This is so cool. We haven't even seen the Charizard. So I think I'm gonna keep it sealed up for right now. Don't, I won't take it out. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Ruse Pokemon. It looks so good. Thank you, Ruse Pokemon. Thank you, Valor. And now we gotta check out the Charizard. Yo, the Charizard. I'm sorry, I had to peek at it first. That's how you can tell I'm so excited about this product that I had to do a little peeky peeky at it first myself. Oh my gosh, this is an incredible, incredible product. Oh my gosh, and I really like that it, it you know what, I've given some, some, I've given some flack to the Pokemon company for how they've packaged their promos in the past, but I like this one. I think they did a good job. It looks really clean. I'm liking the centering at first look. I'm, I'm, it's hard to tell if some of this, there's a little bit of surface stuff here, but I don't know if it's on the plastic or if it's on the card itself, but we gotta take a look at the back. Hmm. I think I'm seeing a little something on the edge there. It's hard to see. I'm seeing a little damage on the edge. I think it's hard for the camera to pick it up. It could be just on the it could be just the packaging though. It could be just the packaging. It's really really hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. So maybe maybe as a short, maybe not while live streaming, I'll take it out. Oh man. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to take it out. I'm really, really tempted. Sleeve that baby up ASAP, says Roos Pokemon. Maybe I should. Maybe I think the Charizard I will. Okay. I think the Charizard I will. I think the, I'll keep the Pikachu sealed because that one looks super clean. But let's try for the stream, for the content. I'm going to try and gingerly opening this up. Oh, my Lanta. This card is incredible. It's got a really nice weight to it. So yeah, I am seeing some surface. I am seeing some surface damage on the bottom there. When you move it around in different light, two spots in the bottom. But maybe, I don't know, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. That's definitely some damage on the bottom there. So this Charizard, I don't think would be a card that I would grade, but it's gonna look so, so cool on display. Holy cow, this is an incredible product. This, uh, and we have like 15 packs, I think, or something to open up. This, I'm already really happy with the product, just getting these two metal cards, the Pikachu and the Charizard. See a little edge damage as well on the side here. It's hard to pick it up on the camera. Maybe if I do a little CSI zoom, in, zoom, zoom enhance. But overall, I am incredibly impressed with the craftsmanship of these products. These are so cool. I see a little um, paint chip damage as well underneath the Pokemon symbol there. So interesting, interesting as well. But really what we really care about because this card's gonna be on display is the front. Holy cow. This is some beautiful Mitsuhiro Arita artwork. I don't even know. Am I gonna be able to sleeve this in a normal penny sleeve? Do they even fit? They do. Wow. I am really impressed. I did not think that they were gonna fit in a penny sleeve. This is an incredible, incredible card. This is so sick. The original Mitsuhiro Arita artwork. I'm gonna put that one on display there, right taking up the spot of the Celebrations Charizard. Wow, what an incredible product. What an incredible product. Maybe then should I take out the Pikachu? Maybe should we inspect the Pikachu as well? I think we will. For the live stream, I think for the content, I, I feel a little bit more comfortable about taking it out after taking the first one. So I'm gonna push it back a little bit and I'm gonna grab a sleeve just to have that ready. Should have had that ready already. And we're gonna grab the card. So I'm seeing a little bit on the same spot on the bottom, but I wonder if those are fingerprints. I don't know, I think that's damaged, but still really, really beautiful card. So same spot there on the bottom. It is probably impossible, or at least nearly impossible to get a 10 in these cards. The back looks really clean. Maybe a little, okay, so I do see a little paint chipping up there at the top, I think, but uh, no, maybe not. It's hard to, uh, yeah, it, it is, it is. So interesting that the backs do chip a little bit, so that'll hurt it on the surface. But overall, a really, really incredible card. I, you know what? I gotta do some research into what these cards would be worth grading, because maybe, maybe even at a nine, it would be worth it. Ooh, I'm seeing, or is that just fingerprints? You know, it's hard to tell. Maybe, uh, maybe some of the stuff that I'm saying is surface wear. Maybe it's just fingerprints. But absolutely incredible, incredible card. Susan says she's sweating. <laughs> Sorry, Susan. I don't want to give you a heart attack. So we're going to put it in the sleeve. 
really two incredible, incredible cards. These alone make me happy with the purchase and then some. And we still got a lot of heat to open up. So I'll put the Pikachu there in front of the Venusaur. Save some room for the Blastoise. Of course, for Jedi Master Squirtle, the fan of the Blastoise. And there's still more accessories in here. So let's see, we had from just that first box, we had the Charizard and Pikachu tin, or a pin. We got this really cool Pikachu coin, and then we had the gold medal card. So now let's see, do we have some more promos over here? Or are these the packs? Okay, it looks like we got packs over here. So we got Chilling Rain, Vivid Voltage, Vivid Voltage, Vivid Voltage. That's nice to three, see three Vivid Voltage. Two Darkness Ablaze, and two more Chilling Rain. So it looks like three Chilling Rain, three Vivid Voltage, and two Darkness Ablaze. That is a pretty solid spread. We got the Code card, which I will save to the end as well. PSA, stop grading gold cards, still grades cookies, I think. Make it make sense, Andres Bars Kurakazi. Are you talking about the Oreos that people were, were trying to like send in to get graded, Andres Bars Kurakazi? Valor says the UPC is such a good product. I agree, Valor. Oh no, bro, case at work per the, per the norm. Well, hopefully you're making the cheddar for some awesome Christmas gifts for the fam. Talking about awesome things here, we got the gold Pokeball and the gold Pikachu. So those were not the only promos. I think I might keep these ones. What am I saying? I'm saying, why am I even saying? We all know I'm gonna open them. What am I even saying I'm gonna keep these sealed? I'm gonna open them. Let's see some pack opening action, says Bauer Fennekin. Good call, good call. So after these promos, I just wanna show off the Pikachu V, but we will get into the packs right away. I gotta, this looks a, like a really, really uh, clean copy of the promo card. Definitely gotta sleeve this one up right away. Beautiful five fawn graphics illustrated card there. Whew. These are a beauty. All gold Pikachu V. What a nice design. This looks so, so premium. This looks sick. I absolutely love these cards as well. It's crazy. They could have just had the metal cards, but then they slipped in these awesome, awesome gold cards as well. Like actual just, you know, gold design cards. Jedi Master Squirtle, y'all making it hard to not want this set anymore. What? Jedi Master Squirtle. Well, the good news is the singles for this set is very, very cheap. I think right now MSRP is, the prices are still um, getting a little bit closer to opening up at MSRP. But if you do want a master set of this set, you can buy the singles very, very cheaply, which is the Ryan Miller strategy. And I totally, totally encourage people if they're looking for a master set and just wanna go the cheapest way possible without going too much break in the bank, I definitely recommend singles, especially for celebrations with the prices where they're at. A lot of the cards are just a dollar. And wait, did I miss a, did I miss a sub? No, who's just subbed? I apologize, I was looking at the beautiful, Deadpool just subscribed. Well, thank you, Deadpool, and welcome to the Manatee Pod. How are you doing, my guy? Deadpool, yo guys, what is up? What is up, Deadpool? Glad to see ya. I got a question for you, two questions, actually. What is your favorite Pokemon and what generation did you get into the hobby? Let us all know, Deadpool, but thank you for stopping through. Welcome, welcome. So now, this is the moment that I'm sure a lot of you are really, really wanting to see, the pack openings. Not the stickers, but also very cool stickers. The pack openings. So let's see how many celebration packs do we have to open up. I see one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Wait, what? Did I do my math correctly? Do they give you 17 packs in this thing? That is actually insane. Do they have that listed on here somewhere? Yo, is that correct? Did I do my math? That is a lot of packs. And then they have the darkness ablaze and so much other stuff. Chilling rain. This is awesome. Deadpool says Psyduck, just this generation. Oh, wow. A new, a new gen fan, but he is a lover of a gen one Pokemon. That is awesome, Deadpool. Great choice. I love that. I love to ask 
favorite Pokemon and what generation you get into the hobby because I like to see the mix. Sometimes people have the mix. That is so cool. I'm curious, Deadpool, why is Psyduck your favorite Pokemon? I do love Psyduck, especially from the show. Misty Psyduck. I have a lot of awesome memories from that. And what a great way to start. Can we get some first pack magic from the fist bump energy, the good luck charm of the channel? Let's go. Furret, Rare Fossil, Fletchinder, Skitty, Golet, Hippopotas, Larvista, Spinarak, Lunatoad Reverse, and do we have a little first pack magic from Darkness Ablaze? Woo! No, but we got a nice Dracozolt non hollow. Hey, we had the rare fossil card earlier in the pack, and now we got the Dracozolt. And that is really, really cool artwork on the Dracozolt. Such a fun, happy dragon. So shout out to Super Violins. Dragon Boy! Wait, is the Dracozolt a Dragon Boy? Is he part dragon, part, um, part electric? I know he's at least electric. Super Violin says, I have I ever told you what gen I got into Pokemon? I don't think so, Super Violins. I would love to know. So open question to anyone. If anyone wants to answer that question, it is not exclusive to Deadpool. Let me know. So Super Violins, I am very curious. I know the gooey Gudra is your favorite, but I don't think I do know what generation you got into the hobby. So I, I am very curious. That would be awesome to know. Let's go. Lightning Energy, Cape of Toughness, Spike Muff, Parasect, Purloin, Feebas. Oh no, the Feebas looks like he's drowning even though he's a fish. Yeah, he's Dragon Electric, says Valor Fennekin. Thank you, thank you, Valor Fennekin, for dropping the knowledge. Dragon Boy, says Deadpool. Love to see it. Purloin, Reverse. What do we got behind it? And a Hydreigon, another Dragon Boy! Love to see the Dragon Boys two in a row. That is awesome. Dragonzolt is a Dragon Boy, says Super Violins. Let's go. Thank you for letting me know. Andre Sparks also Electric Dragon. Love all the knowledgeable fans we got in the chat today. Let's go. Let's see, is this the first Chilling Rain Pack? Four to the front, we are about to find out. Fighting energy, ooh, if it is, it is the Melanie. So can fire energy on the Chilling Rain is a good sign. What is it gonna be? Diglett, Golet, Deerling, Sneasel, Galarian, Farfetch'd, Celio. I see something peeking out. What could it be? Is it gonna be a V from Chilling? <gasps> Yo, Galarian Moltres, V, let's go. This is actually a banger hit because I'm playing in a tournament tonight at my local store, Descent Into Gaming, at 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Super, super looking forward to it. I'm playing a Rapid Strike Urshifu deck, but the thing is, I needed Galarian Moltres Vs. I did not have any Galarian Moltres Vs, and I wanna have two in my deck to try and counter the Muse. So now I might be able to actually include one in the deck and make it a little bit more competitive. I gotta see, maybe just as a one of, it might not be enough to justify, because I would have to include like four darkness energies to have a really good shot of getting off that aura burn attack. So I don't know if it's worth it, but it to just include as a one of, but I don't know, maybe, maybe that's a question for Ryan Miller. But an awesome, awesome poll, love getting the Galarian Moltres V. Funny enough, I actually, you know what? I bought two of them, so it's actually funny to get one today. And I bought three Umbreon Vs on TCG Player November 17th. And on November 17th, I got a shipping notification saying they were shipped. Well, on November 30th, I get a message from the seller saying, hey, sorry for the delay, the post office was closed. What are you talking about? You, yeah, the United States Postal Office was closed for 13 days in New York City. I don't think so. But anyways, he goes, he goes, I'm just shipping it out today. So I just, it just arrived yesterday. And last night while opening up packs off stream with Wild Bill and Swift Chancellor, I pulled three Umbreon Vs. Well, two Umbreon Vs and then right, a Wild Bill pulled one. So how crazy is that the day finally that the three Umbreon Vs arrive and then we pulled them all at once. So, so funny when that happens. I feel like that always happens with trades. A nice reverse Melanie. This is actually nice to see a reverse Melanie because sometimes some decks do play a variant of the Rapid Strike where they do play four Melanies. So nice to get a reverse. That is awesome. Reverse Melanie. And oh, Jedi Master Squirrel says, come back my my house. My uh, I got two that you can borrow. Oh, let's go, Jedi Master Squirtle. That would be awesome. Thank you for letting me know. And Ryan Miller says, send me that list. Yes, I definitely have to. A little last minute polishing. 
Broke Ace and the Pokey Twins says, I'm still here, Mac. Listen and can't comment much. No worries, Broke Ace and the Pokey Twins. I totally understand. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for letting me know, man. I hope that your day at work gets a little bit better. And I hope you can have an awesome night tonight. I'm curious... Oh, and you know what? I missed Super Lot. I'm sorry, Super Violins. I got into Pokemon and Diamond and Pearl. Watched the rise of Darkrai with Dialga and Palkia. You know what? I have actually not seen that movie. I, you know, do you recommend it? I, I think I'm guessing by the heart emoji that you dropped in the chat, you do. I might, I might have to check that one out. Maybe a little weekend viewing or maybe a viewing while I'm on my flight to go visit Ruth's Pokemon this next week. Darkrai is one of my favorite non-dragon Pokemon. And of course, Dialga and Palkia. Palkia are dragon boys, LOL, says Super Violins. That is awesome, Violin. So thank you for letting us know. That is su super, super cool. And Darkrai, I think, is also a super, super sick Pokemon. I love the Uta artwork of him in Fusion Strike. And hey, we got a reverse rare Cinderace. Love to see the starter. What do we have? Super Violins. Sorry, Violins. I just I just read it. Sorry for missing it at first. But we got it. Got, we got it. I apologize, Violins, for missing it at first. Go Lurk. I apologize, but we got the vivid voltage, but that is super, super cool violence. Thank you, thank you, thank you for letting us know. Darkrai is super cool, and I think I gotta check out that watch, The Rise of Darkrai. I'm curious if it's on YouTube um, somewhere, Netflix, Crunchyroll. I do have a Crunchyroll account. I love my anime. Oh, speaking of anime, yo, this Sunday, the new, the new arc starts. For Demon Slayer, the Red Light District. So it's going to be the eighth episode of Demon Slayer this season two. I am incredibly excited because it is start of the new arc. So picking up after the Hell Train, we have, or uh, sorry, the Mugen Train, which is Infinity. We've got the awesome Red Light District. And yo, speaking of the Dragon Boys, Dialga and Palkia, let's go, a reverse Dialga. That is awesome to see and love this artwork. Wow, Super Violins, you summoned it. You summoned the Dragon Boy. Do you know anime is banned in my country? No new episodes or movies. Even was uh, not able to watch the end of the OG show. Wow, Deadpool, I am sorry to hear that. Why is that? Why is that banned? That is nuts. I'm sorry to hear that. But hey, one thing I'm not sorry about is to pull in Evolution. Love the Vaporeon. Love that Vaporeon hit. And I'm going to set aside that reverse Dialga because, hey, and then next time we send some mail to Super Violins, we might have to slip that one in. Crazy, says Pokey Legacy. I know. That is so fitting the timing on that Dialga reverse, if that's what you're talking. You can just watch it using VPN. Oh, interesting, Deadpool. I guess that is a good point as well. Darkness Energy. There is a lot of great VPN services out there. Metang, hashtag not sponsored. Giraffe Rig. Poochiana. Voltorb, love the Gen 1 Voltorb. Oh, that is such cute Rock Rough artwork. I love this Rock Rough artwork. I love the Lycan Rock scratching the ear behind the back. I love that. Yanma, reverse Quagsire, Quagsire. And who do we have behind? Do we have a hit? No, we got a Shed Ninja though. But is this Komiya artwork? This is, I recognize that style of artwork. Awesome Tomokazu Kamiya artwork. I really like the Shedinja, so I might set this one aside as well. At some point, I think I have to make a binder and just collect all of the Tomokazu Kamiya artworks. Ryan Miller says, man, I can't wait for those blue Gary Evolutions. Me neither. Talking about VMAX Climax, Max VMAX Climax, I should say, as we're going to be referring to the nickname for that set. Man, those those artworks are absolutely incredible. There's a Flareon, a Jolteon, and a Vaporeon. Character rares all with Gary Blue in the artwork. Super, super cool. I am absolutely going to be chasing those. Water Energy. Nuzleaf. Dude, I need like three reverses and one of them is that Quagsire. Ruse Pokemon, thank you for letting me know. Let's go. I will set aside the Quagsire as well. So getting some binder love Bringing it to Roos Pokemon for next week. That is awesome. He is going for a master set of Vivid Voltage, which also broke Ace and the Pokey Twins is going for. And I am curious. I got to see when you open up those packs, broke Ace and the Pokey Twins, if you do end up doing them on stream, I'd love to see if you can pull something out of there for the master set. Reverse Tynamo. Let me know if this is one that you need. And what do we... Yo! What? What? From Vivid Voltage, the Galarian Obstagoon Gold Card. Are you kidding me? Oh man, where this UPC is full of gold. The Ronald McDonald Galarian Obstagoon. What 
I hate. Yo, Wild Bill. Shout out to my guy, Wild Bill. He's probably going to be liking that. He is a master of the gold pulls. Can we get some fire in the chat for the gold? Let's go, Rev Scoot. I don't even need to tell him. He's already dropping the flames. Rita Carter's dropping the flames. Let's go. Oh, Armor Sparse Kurakazi says, Update my father's still in the hospital, but doing better. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Armor Sparse. Can we get some hearts in the chat for Armor Sparse? Flames! Deadpool says, call it, let's go! Ruse Pokemon says, let's so crazy, bro! Ryan Miller says, go! Oh my gosh, that is insane. We gotta get more sleeves. That is always a good sign in an opening when you need to get more gold. Oh man, that is an awesome, awesome, awesome pull. Definitely opening on camera. Oh, thank you, Anthony, for letting me know. I will be sure to watch that. That will be awesome. Woo! I gotta be careful. I feel like I'm doing surgery putting this card in, especially, I'm always nervous now after the Tyranitar about the corners on cards. Ooh, so beautiful. Let's take a look at this one. Centering looks good. It looks pretty clean. I gotta check each of the corners. Corner, corner. This looks like a pretty clean card. This, ooh. No, it looks pretty clean, it looks pretty clean. Uh, this looks like an awesome Galarian obstacle and centering looks pretty solid as well. Yo, an absolute banger. Bang, bang, says Wild Bill. Let's go. That is a sick hit. You know what? This deserves, I got to grab my double sleeves. This is a double sleeve banger. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The big ones we double sleeve. Maybe I should have just grabbed my whole stack of double sleeves because I'm about to open up 17 celebration packs. Have a feeling there's going to be a banger in there. And yo, we got Wild Bill in the chat making the appearance. Let's go. Awesome to see the love from Valor for Wild Bill. Let's go. Might have a shot at a 10, says Deadpool. You know what? I don't say it too. I don't like to say it too often, but that one looks pretty clean. That one looks pretty clean. So definitely throwing that one into a card saver. Awesome gold pull already. Let's see if we can follow it up with another hit. First celebrations pack incoming. What do we have? Can we get back to back hits? Ooh, and I gotta be careful about how I open up these celebration packs. They're so thin that sometimes I'm always nervous about like bending the card inside. So I'm not gonna do any pack trick on these. No pack trick, because sometimes I can feel the texture, feel the hits, feel the matrix. So all right, Yevital, Cosmog, are we gonna get a reprint to start things off? No, the Grudon, love for the team, the team Magma. And what do we got behind? No first pack magic, but nice to see the Lunala. We got a lot of packs to go, and I feel the heat coming. Umbreon Gold Star incoming, says Deadpool. That would be super, super sick to see. Here's hoping you nab the Mew EX and Luxray Level X. Also other bangers, says Onrasparce Kurakazi. Thank you, Onrasparce, yes. Those are the last two cards I need for the master set, so hopefully we can pull those too. Cosmog, we have opened up every single Celebrations product at least once now on the channel. So hopefully, if we can open them all up once, can we complete the master set? Grudon. Oh, an awesome Rocket Zapdos as the first hit. Let's go. Love to see that and loving the clean centering on these as well. That's a good sign. So awesome Rocket Zapdos. I do love me some Rocket cards. Do we have a banger behind it? We do. We got a flying Pikachu V. So double banger. That is nice to see. Two hits in one pack. Let's go. That is an awesome double banger. Definitely sleeving those. Ooh, Rockets, Zapdos, and Flying Pikachu V to start things off. A great way to start off the e UPC. I was going to say ETB, but this isn't an ETB. This is a UPC. Third pack. What are we going to get? Is third one going to be the charm? Is third one going to bring us the Mew? Is it going to bring us the Luxray? Can we get it? What do we have? Third pack. Ooh, I'm seeing a Dragon Boy. I'm sorry. I'm peeking. I'm peeking. I'm seeing a little Dragon Boy up front. We got the Dialga for Super Violins. What do we got behind it? A uh, Yevital. Behind the Yevital, do we have another reprint? No, we got the Cosmog. He's crying because he's not a reprint. But we got a, a Pikachu, a Flying Pikachu VMAX. So last pack, we had the Flying Pikachu V. Now we got the VMAX back to back. That is cool to see. It's like I always like when the, the hits evolve before our eyes. 
So definitely, definitely, the, the Rocket Zapdos, the Flying Pikachu V, those are of course going into the giveaway pile for the next giveaway stream, which is gonna be when we hit 400 subscribers. Super, super close to it. Thank you for all your help and your support in getting there. Zapdos is always a great Pokemon, whether is it as a Cantonian or Galarian, says Valor Fennekin. Totally, totally agree with that. I love the fighting variant Galarian Zapdos. All right, next pack, we got a Cosmog. Behind the Cosmog is a Reshiram. Can we see a little fire again behind the Reshiram? Are we gonna see another fire card? Ooh, it's a reprint. Here comes Team Rocket. A little OG anime style there. The Here comes Team Rocket. So a very Rocket themed opening here. We had the Rocket Zapdos and now here comes Team Rocket. What do we got behind it? Let's see. Another double banger, the sea surfing Pikachu V. That's why we open up celebrations, the double bangers. That awesome. That's what you want to see when you're opening up Pokemon cards. You want to see the Team Rocket and you want to see the Pikachus. That uh, Broke Ace and the Poke Twin says, awesome stream so far, Matt. Got a good luck rest of the way. Enjoy your day, Legend Nation. Back to work I go. Thank you so much, Anthony, for tuning in. I hope you have an awesome rest uh, of your day. Thank you so much for tuning in while you're at work, no less. Appreciate the support so much from you, buddy. Later, Broke A says Rena Carter. Love to see that. 20 scrubs away, says Deadpool. Let's go. Thank you for your help in getting there, Deadpool. Can't do it without you. Good luck with work to, uh, to Broke Ace and the Pokey Twin, says Valor Fennekin. Flying Pikachu V, he also says. So, all right, we're going to put the code card down. All code cards will be at the end. All right, Cosmium. Grudon. What is behind the Grudon? Kyogre, so a little back-to-back -back Gen 3-ers there. Nice to see. I always like when they have the mirror artwork, both artists, super, super cool style. The Team Magma, the Team Aqua, and behind the Kyogre, we got another, we got Surfing Pikachu V, yo! So we just had, we just got the full set of Pikachu V, Pikachu V Max, the flying and the surfing. That is crazy already, wow. So you can get, are we gonna pull a whole master set out here? We need, we need the Mew EX, we need the Luxray Level X. Team Rocket never gonna stop coming, says Ryan Miller. I've been on your schedule, Broke Ace. Ooh, says Jedi Master Squirtle. Oh yes, he's on that, that Saturday work schedule. Later, Broke Ace, says Ryan Miller. Super Violin says later, Broke Ace. Rev Scoot dropping the electricity emoji in the chat. Love to see the energy from you. And what do we got next? All right, Cosmium, Kyogre, what is behind the Kyogre? Azurdius, but do we have something behind the, we do, holy cow, gold Mew, let's go. This UPC is full of gold, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Gold Mew, holy cow. And I don't even think we're halfway through the celebrations. What is happening? What is happening out here? Are you kidding me? I need to, I need to brace myself for impact. Gold Mew, we had the gold Galarian Obstagoon and now the gold Mew. What is going on? Insanity. Yes, now the stream is catching up. I'm seeing the fire in the chat. Let's go. Ruth Pokemon says, bro. Deadpool says, let's go. Dropping the flames. Audra Spars Kurakazi says, go. Glalie Games is in the chat. Says, Kimono Saturday. Gold Mew. Holy cow, says Jedi Master Squirtle. Susan's dropping the flames. Are you serious, says Ruth Pokemon. Rita Carter dropping the heart emojis. Violin dropping the flames. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just keeps going, says Ryan Miller. This product does not disappoint. Holy cow, I am beyond thrilled with the opening. Definitely beyond thrilled with the purchase. Holy cow, this is just non-stop gold from this UPC, non-stop gold. We're getting all the Pikachus, we're getting the Team Rocket cards, we're getting the Mews, let's see the Mew EX, let's see the Luxray L Level X, can we complete the set? Another Team Rocket card, the Rockets do not stop! 
Rocket Overload, as Ryan Miller called it, just keeps going. Rocket's admin, beautiful Persian in the artwork. And what do we have behind? The Solgalea. This UPC is like, is like Michael Phelps, says Jedi Master Squirtle, full of gold. That is a good one, Jedi Master Squirtle. That is a good one. I've not heard that one before, but totally agree. Oh, man. Rocket b admin. Whew. We still got more packs to go. Spicy gold box. Wow, says Trow69. Right, I am giggly over this one. Rocket is taking over in all caps, says Valor Fennekin. Our boxes were so similar. It's wild, says Roos Pokemon. I know. We've gotten literally like the same hits. I think you got the Mew EX as well. Did you pull the Luxray level e X? I hopefully they we can mirror. You know what? I, I cheated. I'm peeking. I'm seeing something. I'm seeing something. It's a reprint. Oh, it's the Rasheram. I saw the I saw the sparkle on the edge. It's a Dragon Boy though. A Dragon Boy. So that's a nice hit. But I'm I'm gonna lie. I got excited. I saw the sparkle and I thought it was either the Mew EX or the Luxray level level X. But a very very beautiful pull. The full art Rasheram. Of course, this one is going in the giveaway pile. Ooh, ooh, and what do we got behind it? The surfing Pikachu V, the double bangers do not stop, but definitely we got to sleeve this one up. Holy cow. Reshiram, says Valor Fennekin. Yes, Dragon Boy. Try there, there's my Elizabeth, the Dragon Boy. Rita Carter dropping the flames. Holy cow, though. The, these UPCs are a lot of fun to open. This is a ton of hits. In a variety of hits. This has been a lot, a lot of fun to open. I hope y'all are enjoying the stream so far. Let's see Mew and Luxray, says Valor Fennekin. That would be awesome. Can we do it? How many packs do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, nine packs left. I'm feeling at least two more reprints. Hope y'all are having a great weekend, says Glaley Games. Well, Glaley Games, I'm hoping you're having a great weekend. I'm having a fantastic one, my guy. Thank you for asking. Oof. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can make it a little better by being a little greedy and completing the master set. So I'm fumbling the pack. Zekrom, ho -Ho, Zerdius, what do we got behind? The Lunala. Not in that one. Eight packs left to go. The final eight. Can we complete the set? That would be absolutely legendary. I won't complain if we see a Charizard instead, though. That would be nice, too. So, all right. Resh oh, Zekrom. Cosmium. What do we have behind the Cosmium? It's a reprint. I think this is the... Bur oh, no! It's another Rocket Zapados! Rocket Overload! We got another Rocket Zapados doubling up on the Rocket Zapados. What do we got behind Professor's Research? I don't know if, I wonder, I don't think I've ever opened up, you know what, I have, I have seen one Celebrations product open up for with duplicate pulls. I think Ruse Pokemon opened up a V-Memory box and got two Dark Gyaradoses, if memory serves correctly. So we got final seven packs, lucky number seven. Just realized you're opening a UPC. Got the booster shot yesterday, says Glaley Games. Oh, no. Well, I hope you are feeling better, my guy. Yes, I totally understand being a little bit out of it after that. But I hope you recover well. Vito snuck in while I wasn't paying attention. What's up, dude, says Ryan Miller. Love to see that in the chat. Love to see people welcoming each other. Cosmium. Dialga. What do we got behind the Dialga? Can we get another reprint? No, the Zekrom, but what do we have behind? Maybe a little Professor's Research. No, it's another Surfing Pikachu VMAX. VMAX is all over the place. Let's go. Yup, and then doubled up on Blastoises too, says Roost Pokemon. Oh, yes, yes, totally. I did forget about that as well. You've been pulling the Blastoises left, right, and center. We need to get you the Charizard, my guy. It's all right. Six packs to go. Mike opened up a Celebrations Dark Sylveon tin for a pack battle, and three of the packs had a Zamazenta V. Oh, man. No! That is crazy how sometimes the pack battles... It's crazy how sometimes when you're going in for the pack battles, you can have the worst luck. Cough, cough, Friday. But we had a lot of fun. You don't need to have good luck and good pulls to have fun, at least in my opinion. But all right. We got Yevital. Palkia. Nice Gen 4 boy. What is behind the pal? Speaking of the Dark Gyarados, let's go! Rocket Overload from the Team Rocket set. We got the Kagemora Hamona 
Dark Gyarados artwork. Gary's in the chat. He's making an appearance. Love to see the Dark Gyarados. Let's go. And what do we have behind the Dark Gyarados? Professor's research. But a nice Dark Gyarados hit. We could not open up the UPC without completing the rocket set. So maybe we don't complete the master set, but we complete the, the inner mini rocket mini set. Rev Scoot dropping the water emojis. Hey, Dark Gyarados says Bower Fennekin. Oh yeah, sorry about that pack battle with the Pokey too. But no worries, you know what? Maybe if we lose, it'll end up being better in the end because we'll get to eat the Vegemite as some fun content. Right on, just having a quiet minute watching Max stream before it's back to kids and the fam time. Wow, I've never heard my, someone describe my, describe my stream as quiet before. That is hilarious, Ryan Miller. But let's go, that means we gotta turn up the energy, I think. Xerneas, what do we got behind? The Dialga Professor's Research Full Art, maybe? A V, Zacian V. So as we were talking about the Zamazentas, we pulled the Zacian. All right, is that four or five packs left? The final four, I think so. Let's see, yes, the final four, the elite four, if you will, to keep it on brand with Pokemon theme. All right, final four, can we pull at least, wait, you didn't watch the Poke2 pack battle? They, they uploaded it? No, Valor, I have not, I have not. Oh my gosh, I have to go check that out. I messaged them this morning actually, but I know there's the time zone difference and was like, oh my gosh, I think I lost for sure. So I know what I'm doing as soon as this video ends. I am watching the Poke 2's pack battle. Thank you for letting me know that our Fennekin or wait, did I somehow, did I somehow win with eight points? I gotta go check it out. Lugia, Cosmom, what do we have behind? Another reprint, it's the Claydol. So hey, I think, I think uh, Jedi Master Squirtle said he needed the Claydol reprint. So maybe this one will end up going to Jedi Master Squirtle. And what do we have behind the Claydol? The Lunala non hollow. Ryan Miller says, LOL, it's all relative. Quiet for me equals no responsibility over other living things. That is a very, very true and valid point, Ryan Miller. It's the final countdown. Da -da -do -do. Da -da -do -do -do. I used to do, we used to play mini sticks growing up. We used to have a house in Canada that we'd go to visit in um, on vacations or for um, the summer. And we used to go in the basement and we would play um, mini sticks, which if you've never played that before, it's like hockey, but with mini half size sticks and you stay on your knees the whole time. And it's also mini goals. And we will play that as kids and we would battle and we would hold tournaments in the cul-de-sac. In the final, the final battles, we would always play the song, The Final Countdown for the last period. So many fun memories, especially with my brother and the friends in the local cul-de-sac. We got I Am The Seas, man, what is up? What is up, my guy? How are you doing? What's going on, Bino fam? We are just on the final three packs. Can you bring us some heat? I am the Seaman. Can you bring us the Mew EX or the Luxray Evel Level X to complete the master set? What do we got? No, we got the Yevital, but what is behind the Yevital? The Professor's Research. Two final packs left to open. The final two. Mini sticks are awesome, says Jedi Master Squirtle. Hard on the knees, says Susan. Yes, I'm sure he, she has a lot of memories of that, of our scuffed up knees. My mom confessed to me after I had kids, she used to do the same thing, says Ryan Miller. That is hilarious. Ryan uh, Grudon, final two packs. Can we get a hit? Let's see. Grudon. Palkia, what is behind the Palkia? Are we gonna see a reprint? We do, a Grudon, let's go. Team Magma's Grudon, that is nice to see. A nice reprint back there, a nice one for the giveaway pile. And what do we have behind? Another V, the Zacian V. So getting the Zacian Vs, they are coming through as well. We have just one final pack. Can we get a mega banger or something to complete or get us one step closer towards the master set. Can we get the Luxray level X and then trade Jedi Master Squirtle for the Mew EX? Last pack magic. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it. Can we get the Luxray level X? All right, code card to the side. This is it, the final pack. Palkia, Reshiram, 
What is behind the Reshiram? Do we have a reprint? No, we got the Cosmium and behind it, the Professor's Research. But overall, an absolutely incredible, incredible opening. I gotta, I gotta, we gotta start first off with the, the, the hits from the side packs before the celebrations. We had the Reverse Quagsire for Roost Pokemon's Master Set. We got a Sheninja for the Kamiya Collection. We got Dialga Reverse for Super Violins. We got the Galarian Moltres, a competitive TCG card for a deck that I need. And then we've got, ooh, 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 the Galarian Obstagoon Gold card. This was an absolute banger hit. Came out of nowhere. Y'all legends gotta know. let me know if you need this one for the Master Set. I think I've seen um, Broke Ace and the Poke Twins pull this one before, but Roost Pokemon, let me know. Let me know. Otherwise, I know... I know that uh, Wild Bill is a fan of the gold cards, so maybe he might appreciate this one. But we got a lot of cards for the giveaway pile. Zacian V, Groudon Team Magma, Claydol Reprint. Actually, maybe this one might end up going to Jedi Master Squirtle. I'll set that one aside. We still got a lot of hits to give away. Zacian V, Dark Gyarados Reprint, Surfing Pikachu V, Rocket Zapdos, Surfing Pikachu V, Full Art Reshiram, Team Rocket's Admin, Surfing Pikachu VMAX, here comes Team Rocket, Surfing Pikachu V, Flying Pikachu VMAX, Flying Pikachu V, and another Rocket's Zapdos. And then, of course, we got to show off the gold cards as well. The, the gold Pikachu, the gold Pokeball, and the gold Mew. Insane, insane hits. Yes, awesome timing, old time. We are going to send everyone over to the old time raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We got the GOAT himself in the chat. Let's go. We got a perfect timing. This is the perfect, perfect timing to drop the old time link in the chat. So everyone, head on over into old time stream. We are going to do the, cold the code cards, but definitely, definitely, we want to show some love to old time and send a little manatee raid over his way. So everyone, if you enjoy today's video, I would greatly appreciate if you could hit the like button. If you are new to the channel and watching this, I'd greatly appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button. When we hit 400 subscribers, we will be op uh, giving away a Celebrations Collector's Chest sealed to give away for you to open. Lucky winner. And also, we are working towards... Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to keep that one actually a surprise for after the 400. But I think y'all will enjoy what the next one is going to be. Super excited about that. But also, we will be back Monday for an episode of Pokey Market Monday. I'm not, I, so I have a PowerPoint already planned for Pokey Market Monday this week, but I, I gotta be honest, I, I'm really a little bit proud of it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm thinking that I might record this one as a separate upload and then upload it for the Monday while I am traveling in San Diego and won't be able to do a live stream or traveling home from San Diego. So maybe I'm maybe the one that I'm pretty happy with, maybe I record that one and upload as its own standalone video because I'm actually pretty happy with the Evolution box one has been picking up some uh, picking up some views uh, after the fact, which doesn't happen with a lot of my streams it, and it's continuing to pick up views. So I'm thinking maybe that it might actually perform better as a standalone video, this one that I'm thinking of. But I would still absolutely have a Poke Market Monday for this Monday. Um, just I'm thinking about um, maybe talking about the Max VMAX climate, Climax set, the Japanese set this Monday, instead of the already one that I had created, which is about my grading thought process. Might do that one as a separate upload. I'm still undecided yet, but would love to know your thoughts in the chat for a live one. Would you rather like to see one talking about the new Japanese Max VMAX Climax set? Because there's a lot of interesting things about it. They're doing things differently, like there's 11 cards in the Japanese packs versus five packs. Um, there's three different types of god packs. So there's a lot of interesting information and a lot of really cool cards that I'd like to show off. So I'm thinking maybe that one I do this Monday live and then uh, next Monday I do the recorded one. But I don't know. We'll see. That's something I'm thinking about. But greatly, greatly appreciate everyone who came through for today's video. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm going to drop the link to Old Time Stream again in the chat. Hopefully I see you all over there for a little manatee raid action. And Old Time, thank you so much for stopping through.
Peace out, everyone, and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. I'll be playing in a Pokemon card game tournament later tonight, so hopefully we can get some wins as well, and I want to talk about that as well. So maybe Monday. Maybe Monday I ended up talking about that. I don't know. We got a lot of, we got a lot of things. Too little time, too much content, not a bad problem to have. So peace out, everyone. I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day.